gosh, I'm 2.1% Middle Eastern and North African. What? <laughs> Can you guys see my Tesla coil burn? Low-key, hope it scars. Best conversation starter ever. So in case you haven't figured it out yet from the title of this video, today I want to talk to you guys about 23andMe. This is not sponsored by them. I don't know anyone at the company. I'm just genuinely curious about what sort of information we can gather from our DNA. So for those of you who don't know, 23andMe is a genetic testing company. Basically, they analyze your DNA through a process called genotyping. What? They basically take your DNA and then compare it to some sort of reference sequence. So they can learn lots of information about where you're from or um, who you're related to. So let's check it out. Okay. I have the kit right here. It says, welcome to you. My nails are too short for this. Oh. How do you open this? Uh, like that. Okay, so you open it up, and it looks like this. You have um, the instructions here at the bottom, and then you pull this part out. So this is purely saliva-based. You don't have to give blood, you don't have to go into a lab. You need to spit into this tube, spit up to that line right there. And then once you're done, close the cap. In this cap here, they have a stabilizing liquid. You put it in there, I guess it'll preserve the DNA in your saliva. Low-key, it's a lot of spit. So then you package it up and put it right back in the box that it came in and ship it out that way. It says that the sample processing should take six to eight weeks. <coughs> Luckily for you guys, I planned ahead. I feel like this is one of those cooking show moments. Now put it in the oven, and here it is. Already submitted my results with another kit. I got them back. I haven't read them yet though, so I wanted to read them for the first time on camera so we can experience them together. Okay, here we go. So this is what it looks like when you pull it up. On the side here we have a bar that says your information. Okay, let's just jump in. First thing, ancestry composition. Oh cool, they have this little map here that shows you where everything's from. I can select each population to learn more. That's interesting. So just a little bit of background about me. Um, my dad's side of the family is mostly from Italy. I always sort of self-identified as Italian, but here it's saying that the majority of my like ethnic heritage is Balkan. I have a more distant ancestor that's Eastern European, French, German, Middle Eastern. Oh my gosh, I'm 2.1% Middle Eastern and North African. What? Let's see what else we got here. Let's do maternal haplogroup. Okay, my maternal haplogroup is U5B1E. If anybody takes this and has the same maternal haplogroup, hit me up. We are all descended from a single woman who lived in Eastern Africa between 150,000 and 200,000 years ago. Most of my ancestors stayed in Eastern Africa except for a small group that ventured across the Red Sea. Went to Portugal and Polynesia, then the Arabian Peninsula, and only after that did they actually go to Europe. Ooh, my haplogroup U5B1E is relatively uncommon around 23andMe customers. Dad! Neanderthal ancestry. 251 variants? What the heck does that mean? I have fewer Neanderthal variants than 82% of 23andMe customers. <laughs> what the heck? Less likely to sneeze after eating dark chocolate? How the hell would they know that? And why would it be influenced by my Neanderthal heritage? Oh, I have one Neanderthal variant associated with having less fat hair. Cha-ching! My DNA family. Okay, Loki, I've been waiting to click on this one. I'm a little terrified as to what I'm gonna find, but... Whoa, what is this? Compared to the average 23andMe customer, your DNA relatives are 63% less likely to drink energy drinks. That's true. I don't drink Red Bull, unless I'm also drinking vodka. 53% less likely to be a vegetarian. Hell yeah! You eat meat! 40% less likely to have worn braces on their teeth. I did have braces. Twice. Final thoughts. I think it's really cool. Like, it's crazy to me the information that we can gather now from DNA. You know, this whole thing makes me think about this conversation of like nature versus nurture. And I think any good scientist will tell you that we're all a combination of the two, but genetics makes up a bigger portion of who we are than I think we would like to believe. Like what parts of my personality are determined by my genes. My hope for the future is a genetic test that will tell me that information. I would also like to preemptively sign up all of my future boyfriends friends for that service. Oh, don't do it. No. I'll see you guys next week. Until next time, work hard, make mistakes, and of course, stay curious. Bye. <laughs>